Yo ninjas, I'm Kayo and welcome to this new tutorial. If you haven't seen them, watch the previous tutorials that I made, links in the description. Since in the previous tutorials I teach some basic freezes, now it's time to learn how to combine them. So in this tutorial we're gonna see some basic freezes combinations. I divide freezes in different levels, depending on how high they are. For example, the shoulder freeze is very low, is almost on the floor. The handstand is very high, is the highest. If you want to connect freezes, the hardest thing to do is connecting very low freezes to very high freezes or the opposite because you have to change the level so much and so if you go down you have to be careful to not hurt your shoulder or your head and if you want to go up you have to push very hard. Instead the easiest way to connect freezes is staying on the same level. In the step freeze tutorial I showed you how you connect five different freezes at the same level like turtle freeze, like this, like this, like this, and like this. And then coming back, like this, like this, like this, like this. And this is the easiest way on how to connect freezes. I recommend you to practice this way on both sides, on the step freeze level, but also on the elbow level and all the other levels. Then, the second easiest way to connect freezes is to choose two freezes that are in a different level but close. For example, shoulder and stabbing freeze. They are almost at the same level, even if they are different. One level is here and one level is a little bit higher, like this. Or, for example, freeze to head or freeze to elbow. That is a, also a similar level. To make things easier, you can go on your elbow by still using your head. And to make things even easier, you can lean your leg on your elbow, like this. In this way, you don't have to kick with your knees up, but you just need to slide with your arm and with your head. So basically there are different techniques to connect freezes. The very classic technique is to kick with your knees, like this. So you should try to move your knees as close as you can to your chest, then kick your knees and your feet up like this and then make them come back to your chest. For example, shoulder freeze, knees towards your chest, then kick up like this and when you lean on the step freeze, on the side freeze position, just kick back from here to here. One, two. One, two. One, two. If it's still too hard, you can just practice doing little hops, little pushes with your knees without moving, without changing the freeze. For example, just do that in the shoulder freeze position. Just to understand how to kick your legs. Same thing on the side freeze. So, first master the side freeze and then start doing this on your side freeze. An easier way to connect freezes is, as I showed you before, to lean one of your legs on your elbows. For example, try from the baby freeze, like this, one, and slide. And you end up in a shoulder freeze. And you didn't even use your legs, you didn't need to. Same thing if you wanna go, for example, from the baby freeze to the elbow freeze with your head. From here, this time we're gonna slide in this way. Slide. And then slide again. You don't need so much strength to do that, you just need to have a good control on the freezes. If you don't have good control on each freeze, don't even attempt this. First try to hold at least the two freezes that you wanna combine for at least 30 seconds. When you can hold each freeze for 30 seconds, then you can start combining them. If you can't hold a freeze for 30 seconds, it means that you don't have so much control on that freeze and it will be hard to connect both of them together. Remember, try also the same thing on the other side. From here, to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. You can also play with your legs if you want, like this. If you also play with your legs, it would be a little bit cooler, but it's a little bit more advanced. So first way to connect freezes, use your knees. Second way, use the arm. Third way, change sides. The easiest one would be always using the same level. For example, baby freeze on the left and baby freeze to the right. Baby freeze on the left and baby freeze on the right. So these are different options to connect freezes in a basic way. 
Remember, first practice your freezes until you can hold them for 30 seconds and then try to connect them in different ways. Choose for example two or three freezes and try to connect them. And also doing the same thing on the other side. If you can do one side to the other side in the same combo, it would be even better. For example, I wanna connect shoulder to side freeze to elbow freeze with my head on both sides in the same combo, I do like that. This is the freeze A, B, C, B, A. Then from here, it's hard to change with your shoulder, so I'm gonna go back to the freeze, then change side, and do the same on this side. By practicing in this way, your body control will increase so much, and it will be way easier to do more advanced combos and also more advanced power moves, because you will have already a very good body control. If you wanna learn more, check out the links in the description. If you want me to follow your progress, check out my Patreon link in the description. And also if you are interested, check out my merch link also in the description. And see you next week with another tutorial. Yo, ninja!